But Kenny Williams is on, and with a very short time, he's a very fast runner. Was he was a professional baseball player? Now he's executive vice president of the Chicago White Sox. He was a uh, Kenny, were you the first general manager in baseball to win a World Series? Well, no, actually, Bob Watson. You're talking about the first uh, African American general manager in baseball. Bob Watson with the New York Yankees did it a few years before we did it in Chicago. But first, you know, hey, congratulations, number one, on the show, Rock, and uh, and happy birthday. And I am uh, thrilled to be on the show. And, I, and I, I tell you what, a lot of people don't know that you're also known as the most interesting man in the world. You are the true most interesting man in the world. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you proved it today by having Dick Gregory on. And if he's still in the, if he's still in the building, please. Yeah, I'm still here, brother. Thank Great. you. Congratulations <laughs> to you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You know, um, I came to Washington, D.C. over the um, uh, Christmas holidays. Christmas and New Year's holidays, and I went into all of the all of the CVS stores and the Walgreens and and Kenny. I couldn't find tissues. I couldn't find Kleenex tissues. Where are you going with this store? And I finally <laughs> asked the question: What happened to all the Kleenex tissues? And they said all the women in the metropolitan Washington D.C. area had bought up all the Kleenex tissues to wipe their tears because they heard Kenny Williams had gotten engaged. Oh, hey. <laughs> I was wondering, where are you going with this story? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a lucky man. You know, I, uh, I, I found uh, the woman that I've been looking for all my life, and, uh, you know, that's the right assembling, and uh, she is just, yeah, I, you, you've met her, and... Uh, and like you said, you'd have been hard pressed. I'd have been hard pressed to do better. Yeah, that, that you, uh, you, 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 you're not married. You're not married yet. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you in advance. You're engaged way over your head. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, Dick, Greg, go ahead, go ahead and get, go ahead and get married. I've been married 54 years, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. 54. I didn't say right. I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Hey, 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 Dick, you just met her, actually. Uh, she had to do a story. She works for CNN, as you know. She had to do a story in Washington, D.C., and uh, ran into you. Doing the uh, inauguration. Smith. And B. Smith. Yeah, yes, at, doing the inauguration. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. 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 Hey, Kenny, there is so much more that you and I can and will talk about. I want to talk about your Tommy Smith and, and John Carlos relationships and, you know, all the things that, you know, happened to you. You're being on the football field when at the Stanford game when the, when the crowd came out and, and, and the band came out and ran or overtook the field. All of that we can talk about. I know you're short on time. Um, thank you so much for coming on, sharing my birthday. And, uh, and and sharing the air with us. We'll talk soon. All right. You guys take care. Now, Thank you, brother. God bless. Be All well. right. You too. Dude. Yeah.